The goal of our photoshoot was to reveal the theme, the art of war, the art of peace. Photoshoot was not provided in a studio, we did it in a decorated old pavilion. In fact, we had a large dark room available with shabby walls and metal constructions. For lighting, we used a classical set of Deadlight Portable Studio Kit that consists of 5 lights and accessories. The stylist created costumes for our models in the fashion art look. The first model in black latex and leather coat with a catch on her head symbolized the war, which absorbs the energy from harm and destruction. Lighting scheme. Two sources of hard light are located in a few meters on the both sides from the model and backlit for lighting the line of the coat, hair and cage to separate the model from more background. Another light source is a mini sort box that stands in a pair of meters to the left and lights the floor to create more depth in the skin. The main source of the light soft box is held by a system at the angle from the model. It allows us to eliminate the model to achieve more dramatic shadow on her face. One lighting source with a projection head imager and the red glass filter lights up the background from the 7 meters distance to make more dramatic effect. Red light from it falls on the metal construction so it absorbs Elsa discards red stripes on the floor. Also, we use the projection with minimal brightness settings that projects the image of the skull and the destruction of war on the wall. It's made to impact story to our pictures and to reveal the theme of the character. In fact, it's a reference to the information of war broadcasted on the big screen. Here are some photos we took with the light skin. The second fashion art character is the girl in white, symbolized peace. She tries to escape from the net that tangle her, escape from the horrors of war. Lighting scheme. We try to highlight the model as much as possible and visually separate her from the background, the wall of destruction. The main source of light softbox, which is held by a system in the matter from the model. Hard light source is located behind and below from the model. Directed ray from it lights on her hair. To the left and to the right sides, two light sources are located in the angle of 45 degrees, eliminating the clothes of the model and creating uh, the outlines of her dress. Mini soft box is located to the left and lights the lower half of the model. It is needed to compensate the light with the upper main soft box. For backlight, we use the projector to create a mood of the scene. Here is a series of frames that has been taken with this light scheme. The first scene is a direct interaction of war and peace. The peace is trying to break free, but the war pulls her into the abyss of destructions. Light and scheme. One light source with a projection head imager and red glass lights up the wall from the distance of 4 meters. The second source is a light with the red filters, lights up the chair and the floor. The third source is a mini soft box is located on the left side to light a little bit of the model. With these three light sources we shoot a couple of frames that the war is sitting in the chair. For background we also use a projector with a picture of the instructions. After we added two more light sources and lead them a second model, the girl in white that symbolize peace. One source of the hard light stands on the left behind the model at the angle of 45 degrees and highlights the clothes from the distance 3 meters, separating the model from the background. On the opposite side the assistant holds soft box at the distance of 1 meter lights up the model. With such scheme we filmed a few more shots of interactions. We didn't change the light scheme, only the camera angle. In all of these schemes, we have tried to achieve the maximum effect of the cinematic image. All photos are submitted here are examples with minimal retouching and color editing. Thank you for your attention.